What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's up guys? This is Tony Solo here once again. I feel like you guys see me so much in a week. This is so ridiculous. But any of you, any of you guys who tune in, I must say thank you for tuning in to my videos because it means so much to me to come out here and record and record and record and record infield and give you guys as much as I can because that's what I'm here to do. Today is a piggyback off of my video that I recorded months and months and months ago about being grounded like a masculine man. Being grounded like a masculine man, I think, is something that I'm going to continue to talk about as much as I talk about presence. So, when it comes to being grounded, one of the things you'll notice is, once you learn how to move your awareness in your body, you have the element, and you have the key to being grounded at any moment that you choose to. Guys talk so much about, you know, I want to be grounded, man. I want to stand in front of a woman and I just want to completely be solid, immovable. I want to just take up space. I want to just not give a fuck and I want to just be there and have her be all over me because I'm just there and I'm still. It's possible. It's very possible to get to a place where you're more settled into stillness and women can feel that so they can feel more drawn to you. That is absolutely something you can work toward. But if you never learn how to train your awareness, it will take you a very, very fucking long time to get there. For me, what it has really been is me learning how to train my awareness. Learning how to move my attention to different parts of my body. And this becomes completely magical for any man who really wants to take on what it means to be a man who's completely grounded within himself. The foundations of learning how to be grounded within yourself is breath. Breath is the foundation, I feel, to changing your entire life. Men who want to walk this path and to be completely different from any other man out there, themselves uniquely, they need to learn what it means to be in their body. They need to learn what it means to be independent of physical form. They need to learn what it means to be this moment now. It all stems from awareness. Everything that I teach you literally stems from this beautiful place called awareness. Your attention, knowing where you are in your body, being able to fit into this thing and that thing. And it all stems from being a master over yourself. I'm so excited about being able to help you guys understand this because I've dealt so much with not feeling like a man that had masculine masculinity that I just want to give out everything about masculinity. Because I remember coming from a place within myself where I felt completely soft. Like I was always being soft. Like I was always being someone who didn't know my place, couldn't find my place, didn't have the strength. I always felt so nice. I always felt like women really didn't respect me, men didn't really respect me. And this lack that I felt within myself, as I now see, is just a lack of being able to be a master over myself, being able to be able to train myself into being a different way, train myself in being the way that I really want to be. You have to train yourself to be grounded. You have to train yourself to be inside of yourself. You have to train yourself to not put your attention in places where they shouldn't be. You have to train yourself 
I just have to check this woman out. She looks amazing. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, fuck. She looks great. <clears throat> fuck, if I, if, I was, if I was here with somebody else, I would fucking go to approach her. All right. I had to train myself to be really, really fucking aware. And this is why I want to tell you guys. Much like I talk about in my video when I was talking about being able to uh, feel grounded within yourself where you are moving your awareness slow, you have bodily relaxation. Yes, that is the way to do it. And these are different ways to do it. But I would say if you want to learn an even better way to do it is right now in this moment, just come to your breath. And as you're in your breath right now, what I want you to do is that I want you to just move your attention down into your feet. As you feel your feet sink heavily into the floor, whether you be sitting down or whether you be standing up, as you feel your feet sink into the floor and you just feel the awareness in your feet, notice that the awareness is no longer up here where most people keep their awareness. Most people are actually professionals in keeping their awareness here. But they're completely amateurs in putting their awareness in their body. <clears throat> this is really what it is. There's a switch. The switch is, is where do you choose to keep yourself all day? Do you choose to keep yourself here? Or do you choose to keep yourself within your body? And I'm challenging you, of course, to come all the way down to your feet. Because the moment you move into your feet, you physically feel like you're being grounded. You physically feel like you are immovable. And you kind of feel like you have this superpower in a way. Like you can just walk around and just your feet are touching the ground and every step means something. Because what it is is that <clears throat> it starts to become purposeful. Your life starts to become very purposeful to you because as you move around with this type of awareness, people start to admire you, they start to respect you because they can feel whatever is coming from you is very different than those that are walking around them. You start to radiate a different type of energy from yourself and as you radiate this energy people naturally start to feel you in a different way women start to feel you in a different way and as all you guys are coming into these videos you're coming into these videos so you can be able to affect women in a different way so you can be able to come within yourself and ultimately that that you come into affect women and women find you more attractive so if you really want to be more attractive as a man, you need to learn what is it to be an attractive man? What is it to be inside of myself? What is it to be this man who completely is able to be aware of what he's doing? Who's able to move with purpose? Who's able to do things with purpose? Who's able to, as he's stepping floor, uh, step for step, he's able to make each one count. He's able to, when he's looking at a woman, be able to look in the eyes with the intent of I'm for real, that I mean business. But for you to really have the grounded feeling within yourself, you must be willing to train your awareness. So how do you become a master trainer of your awareness? How do you become somebody who's completely, really fucking good at being within himself? And this is how guys are finding themselves are hoping to find themselves in a better way. This is how guys are trying to find themselves with awareness. And I'm like, great man, it's great that you want to find yourself with awareness. Now I want you to find it in the right way. I want you to be able to come within yourself and to really bring your awareness here and now. Your body is the agent for change. Many times, guys believe that their mind is the agent for change, but it's actually your physical body. So once you learn to sit in your body, you'll start to notice that it unravels different things to you in this experience. So, as we're moving in this experience, and as we're feeling things in our body, life starts to look different. And as I'm standing here, and there's two girls looking at the camera behind me, and they're just laughing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm just experiencing this in a different way. Are you gonna come in? Hello. Hey. Yes, hello. Hi. Yes. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Wow, that was some real powerful shit. Hi. Yeah, but I'm still doing? in the mirror. I'm still in the mirror of recording this. Okay. What are you yeah. recording? I'm a vlogger. Sorry? A vlogger. Vlogger. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. What's your name? You're Anthony. talking about some really nice things there. Mm. Yeah. I'm what? You were talking so about some really nice stuff. It was great to hear. Yeah. Caught Thank my you. attention. Yeah. Did you hear did you it? Did you hear it walking past? Are you a blogger? Yeah. Did you, you hear Instagrammer? No, not an Instagrammer, no. <laughs> I am a <laughs> YouTuber. YouTube. Er. Er. Okay. YouTuber. Er. Number. No, I'm gonna search him right up on YouTube. I will keep it. Are you gonna search me right now? Yes. Do you want to press stop on your thing? What's your name? Are you on Facebook? Yeah. So yeah, these two girls came into the video and yeah, they wanted to say something, but here's the thing now. <sighs> Groundedness itself. How can we start to train it? How can we start to come into ourselves to start to see, okay, what are the pinpoint things that I can do to try to come into it? One of the pinpoint things that you can do is this. Meditation. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking about meditation because meditation is so important when it comes to a man learning or anyone learning how to be aware. It really is the number one way for you to learn how to be aware. If you're trying to do this just from a, a, a mental standpoint, you are going down the wrong track. You are. Groundedness within yourself, being able to be grounded in front of a woman literally is will you be able to come within yourself and to be present to yourself as you're present to her mm. so training your awareness through meditation is the way you're going to be able to experience yourself then when you're in front of a woman being able to experience her will become easier so the ultimate experience is experiencing yourself fully as yourself as you're in front of a woman so you can experience her fully as herself so then together you fully have an experience together this is the ideal i never would speak about never ever would speak about training your awareness never ever would speak about you being present to women ever would I ever speak about this if it wasn't for you being able to experience yourself fully one of the things that I know that I've been able to do and I'm doing right now and I'm constantly doing all day as much as I can is experiencing myself fully it is very actually hard to do when you actually uh, break into it because when you really break into it and you, and you start to experience all of yourself you start to get scared because you start to notice oh my god there's so much inside of me there's so much within me that I can experience. Oh my God, it, it, it's, 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 it's too much. That is the feeling sometimes that it's too much. And it's not that it's too much, it's just that you're not used to it. And once you train your awareness, you get used to it. You get used to experiencing sadness, hurt, anger, frustration, happiness, horniness, love, joy. You get used to experiencing all these things even in one day because you're allowing yourself to experience yourself over and over and over and over. And the more sensitive you become to yourself, the more sensitive you become to life. Not sensitive in the sense of you, you being somebody that's wimpy, but sensitive in the sense of you being able to experience life at a deeper and deeper and more profound and more sensational level. Groundedness. It's not just about you wanting to be somebody that has this solidness to you that being that going to be able to pervade when you're in front of women it's more about you being able to come within yourself so you can have the awareness to be able to at the moment of choice come with your body so you can experience more of what's happening between you and the woman whether that be through sex or whether that be through you being here in front of her you ultimately want that you ultimately want to be here in front of the girl and experience everything that you're going to experience you ultimately want to just talk to the girl, say hello, and experience what it feels like for her to really receive you. What it feels like for her not to receive you. What it feels like when you actually go to bed with her. What it feels like to come with her. What it feels like to come, I don't want to say inside of her, that's bad. What it feels like to just come in a very different way. You experience this. Uh, my orgasms are getting stronger. <laughs> and right now I'm kind of going on a rant because I'm tired and I just did a workshop all day. 
but my orgasms are getting so stronger just because of the sensational feeling that I have inside of my body of just being more sensitive to my sensations but I've trained my awareness so I can be able to move it to my cock I've trained my awareness so I can be able to move it to my feet I've trained my awareness so I can be able to move it to parts of my body that allow me to feel here in the moment and ground it start to train your fucking awareness start to move your attention to parts of your body start to move it to your heart start to move it to your chest start to move it down lower and lower and lower and lower and as it gets into your feet you'll notice that you'll feel the physical sensation of feeling grounded and this is what you're looking for groundedness is being able to train your awareness to move into the lower parts of your body if you so to speak the lower parts if you really want to feel grounded but if you want to just experience yourself as being just grounded here and now, you can move it anywhere in your body. And as you move it somewhere in your body, you'll naturally sink into this moment because your awareness is here inside of you and not somewhere else. So, in my half clear, half not clear video that, you know, was strange in many ways, um, I just wanted to record this video about being grounded and I'll keep piggying back in piggybacking every time I find some new uh, this is your boy Tony tired solo because I'm so fucking tired I did workshop from 10 until 8 30 and now I'm recording a video and it's about 10 o'clock now so I've been going for about 12 hours I love you guys and uh, I see you when I see ya